Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to this bit of Lend Heroes Trails in the Sky the Third. Today we're headed on into Sun Door number four. And in order to get into this door, you need the Card of Destiny, which you find pretty much somewhere on this level. Yeah. <laughs> it's on the uh, fifth plane, just in the treasure chest, and it's actually pretty near this door. Um, so yeah, you find it on the Luminous Path rather than the Umbral Path if you're looking for it. It's in one of my previous videos as, you know, I'm going through here. So, yeah. You don't have to have any kind of, um, party configuration or anything else like that. So, let's go on inside. And the sun doors give us nice mini-games. So, I wonder what we have to do this time. Hopefully it's better than Josette's mini-game where you, you know, shoot people out of the sky. That was, like, nerve-wracking. Oh, man. Oh, we're in Calavard. Huh. Oh! Okay, I think that's where Zinn and Killika are from. Yeah, the Eastern Quarter. Oh, okay. Gamblers? Huh. Oh, wait. Jack. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we get some more background information on the Gambler Jack books that we've seen in Hell. We've seen him in Second Chapter, we've seen him in Cold Steel, there was the Gambler Jack reprints, he had to turn him in for that Zemurian Ore back in Second Chapter, so, yeah, kind of neat. If you if you haven't read the Gambler Jack books, I have them in um, my playlists for Cold Steel as well as Second Chapter, they're in bonus episodes at the uh, end of those, and they're also in this game, but I'm going to be putting the Gambler Jack books as, you know, in bonus episodes at the end of this playlist series as well. So, just in case you're wondering. Oh, is this Haley? Oh, well, hey there. How are you? You look cute. I like your little getup there. And normally I'm not really a fan of denim skirts, but it works for you. Are you a customer by chance? Uh, yeah, I walked into this bar. Duh, I'm a customer. Give me a drink. Oh, what makes you say that? Really? The place looks rather crowded to me. Wow, she's like scaring off her customers. You're not a very good waitress, are you? <laughs> oh, well, that's nice. Oh, well, good. Oh. Huh. Well, thanks for the warning. Hmm. You know, I, lo I love how she's a waitress here and she's like, well, the food's actually better than you would think it would be. I mean, like, she's really... Wow. Since when does a waitress tell her customer, you don't look like you're here for booze? Um, I thought that they had to, like, upsell the alcohol and the desserts and all that kind of stuff. I've actually never waited tables before, but a lot of my friends are waiters, and, they, you know, they talk about how they have to upsell various things like appetizers, alcohol, desserts, that sort of stuff. And she is like, you don't want uh, alcohol. Here, just have some water. I'm not even going to upsell you a soda. Um, you really suck at your job, don't you? <laughs> oh, well, maybe. Yeah, well, um, you're kind of a waitress, and you're supposed to go and, you know, get us food and drinks and everything. I wouldn't imagine that you'd be, you know, trying to set up gambling matches or anything on the clock. She really does chat a lot for a waitress, too. I mean, like, you know, she has all these tables to wait on. She can't sit there and talk to this one guy for a year and a day. Oh. Huh. Okay. So do we actually get to know, like, who's in the bar? Or are we just, you know, imagining that it's Kevin in the bar, or, you know, some of our party members? Or is it just somebody else, just some random person? I don't know. Oh, really? Well, that sucks. Oh, yeah. Well, how do you know that we came so far? I mean, for all you know, we live right down the block. Man, this girl's really presumptuous, isn't she? Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely. Oh, really? Oh, you're Haley. Okay. I kind of had a feeling that you were Haley, but, eh, we didn't know for sure. Oh. Okay. Well, thanks. Yeah. I can do this! I live in Las Vegas, for God's sakes! 
How hard could this possibly be? Yeah. <laughs> I am not good at gambling at all. Oh, blackjack. I actually know how to play blackjack. Uh, I can do this. Okay. Yeah, pretty much you want your cards to reach 21. If it goes over 21 like the price is right, then it's too much. 14, I'm going to go ahead and stand. Come on, bust, bust, bust. Yahoo! I won! Sweet! Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, we'll see about that, Haley. Okay, 14, yeah, standing again. I'm good. No! I'm going to draw bluff. Uh-oh. Oh, shit, just see one, damn it. So, yeah, you have to play seven rounds, and you need to, you know, beat her. It's, you know, whoever, you know, wins four times in a row. Um, 12, I'll hit. Urgh, I'll stand at 15, yeah. The nice thing about this, though, if you do lose, woohoo! You get to challenge her again and lower the difficulty level. Um... So, you're pretty much, like, guaranteed to win eventually, and it doesn't, like, hurt you. Urgh. Oh, she's a jack? Yeah, I'll hit again. Why not? Please, please, please. Woohoo! I'll stand. Okay. Although, you know, you do have a jack. Aw, oh, shit! Well, no matter what I did, she would have won. Okay, so we're tied right now. Oh, she got a two. Ooh! Yeah, I got a 17. Yeah, I'm totally standing. Come on, come on, come on, bust! Oh! No! Come on! Okay. Uh, 16, she has 9, I'll stand. Woohoo! Knew it! The only time I actually really gamble, shockingly enough, is when I'm on a cruise ship. I, like, never gamble at home. I really don't know what I'm standing with the 17. Yeah, definitely. Ah, uh, come on, I thought I had it in the bag with the 17. Oh, and of course she gets a king. Y'all yeah, hit. Come on, blackjack, woohoo! Uh, yeah, I got a 21, bitch. Totally. I'm good with this. Woohoo, yeah! I got four wins. Sweet! Didn't you have to, like, redo? Ooh! The Tom Young Gong. I've never heard of that. I looked it up. Apparently it's some sort of, like... Hot and sour, or sweet and sour, um, Thai soup that's made with shrimp. So, yeah, I don't know. Not really a fan of Thai food. And I don't really eat a lot of Thai food in general. Well, I'll eat, like, Chinese food, Japanese food, that sort of stuff. But Thai food, not so much, because Ken is allergic to coconut. And, um, you know, there's a lot of coconut in Thai food, so we never really go out to Thai restaurants. Oh! Huh, you must be Gambler Jack. You're actually kind of cute. Kind of need a haircut, but yeah. Whoa! What happened to you? Oh, yeah, you did say the floorboards were, uh, <laughs> were uh, going loose. Oh, yeah. Huh. Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, you know, if I lived in a bar, I'd kind of be out of it as well. Oh, okay. Do you, like, unpop your collar? Ugh, I really hate that look. He reminds me of Daryl Hall. Just the hair. I don't know. Um, you knew it was broken. It's not his fault. He just happened to be standing on it. Like, you warned me of it just two seconds ago. Eh, yeah. So, what's up? Okay, do I have to beat him in Blackjack too? Uh, yeah. Really? You guys make a lot of presumptions about me, don't you? Yeah, I mean, we did beat you. And I didn't even have to go on easy mode to beat you either. It was just easy. <laughs> but Blackjack's a pretty easy game, yeah. In fact, as far as odds are concerned with gambling, because, you know, I don't gamble a lot, but, you know, you learn a thing or two about gambling whenever you live in Vegas. Blackjack does have, like, the easiest, best odds of winning as far as, you know, being able to win a game in Vegas. Besides, like, craps. But, um, craps, you have to, you have to bet, like, a lot of money. Like, like with Blackjack, you can probably bet, like, 
you know, you can find the tables where it's, you know, a dollar a hand or whatever. But craps, it's like 10 or $20 a hand for that. It's insane. And the rules are pretty complicated, too. So, yeah, I would avoid that unless you're, like, a true avid gambler. Oh, well, you know, you gotta work somewhere. You gotta make a living. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, sure. So I get water and he gets a drink? I beat you! I should get a drink on the house! Well, this isn't Vegas. We don't get free drinks for gambling. Yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. Oh, okay. You really are a shitty waitress, aren't you? Hmm, well the owner said it's okay, so I'm gonna sit my ass down, ignore all my other customers, and just watch you guys gamble. Yeah, she's not working for tips, is she? Okay. Oh, poker? Oh yeah, I'll play poker, sure. Okay, so right now if you look, I have three golden stars, and he has um, four silver stars. Basically, you want all the stars to become golden, so you have to win like seven games. And then we have some various commands here. Basically, if you look at the cards in the middle, those are like the river cards. Uh, this is kind of like Texas Hold'em, I guess. And those cards are drawn for us as well as for him. Now we can go through and we can hold cards just by like clicking that. That's hold, that's unhold. We could say that we want to hold all the cards by choosing all hold. We can raise, which would mean that we're going to be betting instead of just one star per win, we would get two stars for this win. We can fold, which would be like quitting, or we can change them all. But you know what I want to do? Since I have a 10 matching with that middle 10 right there, let me just show you with my little mouse right here. I have a 10, there's a middle 10, that's my 10. I have a 4. There's a four right here, that's my four. I have two pair. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, raise the stakes of this game. So I'm going to be betting two stars on this game, since I do have two pairs. And then I'm going to go ahead and hold this ten, I'm going to hold this four, I'm going to leave that queen, screw that, and see if I get anything else. Oh wow! I got a five! Sweet! Whoa! Holy shit! I'm doing like really well. I'm going to hold that ten, hold this ten, hold this four, hold this four. And I can't really hold both of these fives because you can only hold, you know, um, five cards. But man, if you could, eh, it's a draw, whatever. Okay, so I didn't get my two stars for winning that, but this is basically how you play the game. I'm pretty much always going to be going for pairs, it's just easier that way. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be holding this and changing out the rest. Let's see what we got here. Anything decent? Eh, no, not really. Um, no. I'll hold this two, this two, and it really doesn't matter. I don't know, seven, six, eight, whatever. It doesn't matter. Oh, hey, I won. Sweet. So as I win, I get another little golden star. So I just need to win three more games, but unless, you know, he wins a game, then I lose a star. So this could take quite some time. Ooh. And I'll go ahead and raise it up since I have a pair anyway. So yeah, he will never raise. Um, you know, only you can raise it. So, that's kind of nice. So, every time that I try to get a pair, I'm pretty much going to be raising it to try to make this a little bit quicker. Let's see, got two fives. Um, don't really see anything else going on here. I don't know. There, whatever. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, it's a draw. So, there you go. What are these cards? What do the cards say? Do they say Labyrinth? I don't know. I can't really read. Oh, Lavantar! Oh, like, 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 like that bar that we were at earlier, um, where Chloe and Elector were. Um, it doesn't look like I really have anything here, so I'll change them all. Uh, oh god, this sucks. I'm totally screwed. Um, eh, yeah, this, whatever. I don't know, yeah. This is why I don't gamble. <laughs> it's just... You know, I'm just not good at it. And here I am, stuck back at three stars. This could take quite some time. Let's see. Ooh! Yeah, I'm totally raising this up. Okay. Because I have two and a three. So, yeah. Go ahead and change that. Awesome! Please don't let him get a two and a three as well, or two pair or whatever. That would just suck. Woohoo! 
Woohoo! Yeah, got my two stars. Sweet! Okay, just need to get two more stars, and then I am done with this. Okay, five, six, and eight. Oh, I got six. I'll go ahead and raise it up. Why not? Okay, keep that six, and I'm good. Oh, I got an eight, too! Sweet! Hopefully this is my winning bet! Hey, hey, six, eight, six, eight, four, whatever, don't care. Please, please, woohoo! Yes! 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 Yeah, the key to winning this is raising. Because it just makes it so much quicker. And again, Jack will never raise. You're the one who always raises. That's kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know, you could make excuses that, you know, you aren't allowed to raise and only I can raise, which really makes it a lot easier for me. But again, if you do lose, the game's going to let you retry it, and it's going to let you retry it at an easier difficulty level, so you're pretty much guaranteed to win. So if you're having any problems with it, just retry at an easier difficulty level, not too hard. Oh, well, that's nice. Oh, really? Okay. Oh. Huh. Um, yeah, we beat you the first time, so, you know, we could always beat you another time. And you chose the game that you were best at, too. Oh. Yeah. You could go back into this door, but there's really no reason to unless you just want to play blackjack and poker. There's... It's just... Yeah. No reason. Oh. Okay. It's kind of an odd transition there that they do with the white screen there. It almost like you feel like your your game is freezing up or something. Oh, well, there we go. That was quick and easy. Ooh, Mirage Ring Plus. Hey, hey, awesome. And we're totally going to need that for uh, the next door that we have to go to because remember that one door that we went to it, or, or I talked about and you needed anti-petrify um, accessories? Yeah, we're going there. Next time on Let's Play Linda Heroes Trails in the Sky the Third, this has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.